let's talk a little bit about corrective techniques or really the art of coaching. What I'd like to do is share with everybody um, just uh, a handful of things that I think you really got to remember whenever we talk about like technique or we talk about strategy or whatever component there is to your tennis game. Everybody has to understand that people come to the court with different skill sets, different habits, okay? Their muscle memory is usually baked in extra crispy. So just because you might know maybe how to do the stroke or how to take the racket back or maybe what might be a better way, you got to keep experimenting. You got to keep experimenting and go through every door, go through the window, even if you have to go down the chimney to figure out a way to correct the problem for that person on that day, that hour, that second, that minute. I mean, that is coaching. It's not one size fits all. And this is where it's tricky. Even with the ATP forehand or the ATP backhand or you know what you read in a book or what you heard or how you were taught, Okay, this is very tricky because everybody comes with habits. Most of the time, they're bad habits. A lot of times they're good habits, but it's very difficult to figure out how do I correct that problem? And it's not a straight answer. It's not vanilla, okay? You gotta keep probing and probing and probing. And the parent and the kid has to be open to experimenting. And this is why people don't really improve. They don't experiment. And that's one of the things that I've always done my whole career. It's, it's a, there's a medley of corrections in the toolbox to figure out what's the best way for that person that day and what I call expedite the learning curve. How can you expedite the learning curve so they can learn quicker and faster? Instead of saying, hey, work on that, you'll get it in like four months. You know, that's an easy way out. And you gotta keep like, experimenting and sometimes you have to reverse engineer everything like myself and dr brian gordon can do you got to go backwards okay sometimes you talk about the end to auto correct the before and the during so it's a very complicated thing coaching because correcting thing is in the eye of the beholder it's not just bend your knees aim higher over the net more top spin you know basic stuff like that this is what separates really Rick Macy Tennis Academy and what we do here. Just the fact that, you know, I still teach about 50 hours a week of private, seven days a week, and we probably do more private instruction here uh, than everybody combined in Florida. It's the individual attention inside an academy that really makes the quality of a player, and that's how you really build a champion, because it's attention to details. You can get matches anywhere, and the fitness is a big part of this, but when it's all said and done, okay, you need individual attention, you need someone quarterbacking, but more importantly, people that know how to correct things. And it's not just basic tips, all right? There's a different way to communicate it, how to say it, why to say it, when to say it. There's an art to this whole thing, and you have to have this knowledge in your toolbox. and for. This 11 year old, it might be very different for this 11 year old. Or someone 200 in the world, it might be different for someone else. So at the end of the day, it's all about individual attention. Every, individual attention. It's all about, you know, how to correct the problem. And you might have to try five or six ways before you find the answer.